We start by moving a data grid into the central canvas and then opening the data source editor. This can be done from the component or from data grid properties. In the data editor, create a new data source. Here we use an example of a currency pair prices selected by currency type. In dashboards, we will create what's called a view state parameter to track the variable used by the query. We can auto create the view state in the data editor. To do this, we want to define a default value, which will populate the query when the dashboard is opened and the query run. We then click the icon with the cog to auto generate the view state. Alternatively, we could manually create the view state by clicking the eye icon next to it and creating the view state from the view state dialog. Next, we will add a data form component. The data form component allows us to pass values into our view state. We will connect the data form to the query used in the data grid. The data form will default to use a text input form but we will want to help the dashboard user select from the available currency pairs. So to do this, we will convert the text input to a drop-down menu. In data form properties under view state parameters, change the parameter type from default to drop-down. We will use a data source to populate the drop-down with available currency pairs. and then we can check the interaction between the data form and data grid in preview mode. We can also make the dropdown list searchable and allow the user to select multiple currency pairs. First, we have to convert the sim choice view state to type list. This can be done from the data source by clicking the icon to open the view state dialog and changing the view state parameter type from symbol to list. We again set our default value And in data form, we have to enable both show search and multi-select. We then go into preview mode to view the interaction.